Yeah, you know what? This might be good enough. He is wa- there, there we go. Okay. Let's grab the green horse. Let's walk this way. There we go. Bye-bye, Rod! <laughs> What's up, dudes? How's it going today? Jack Blake here, and today, welcome back to Ice Cream 3. I hope you're pumped because today, we're about to have some fun. We're using our imaginations, creating some, like, weird scenarios in the games. We're about to have some fun. We're about to mess with Rod. Um, all of the while, we're playing the game differently than everybody else. You know, I hope that anytime you're tuning into a video, we're about to have some fun that nobody else has done, hopefully, uh, where we're just, like, going through and just, you know, break in the game so today i've started in the living room um as you can see it's weird we're starting all the locations in the house uh really differently usually i would always start a video for ice cream up in our room but now we can kind of just walk around our own house it's um it's very fun and as you can see um my refrigerator is yelling at me <laughs> i don't know why this is my humor my humor is so bad but every single video i want to start it up with some like weird uh, Oh, <laughs> weird refrigerator thing. So, um, my refrigerator is just screaming, ah, and, um, I hope everything's all right. Refrigerator, what's going on? Is it, is it too cold in there? Should I turn down the coldness? Um, but right now we are in ghost mode. We're about to break the game entirely. Um, you guys told me, um, some things that we're going to do today. And, uh, I am excited. You guys told me that I can get to the front of the car and basically, you know, basically drive the car um if i do a glitch where liz is basically um walking into the car when i convince her and then you stand in the front <sighs> so as we go out onto this bright day i am excited because um it's like it's so different right using your imagination to play a game feels like the best thing because the game says like hey what you're gonna do is solve puzzles and blah blah and you're like you're not even listening you're just like i'm just gonna go and explore and you're like i'm not listening to the game all right so rod does not see me we can even, can we bonk him in the head? I can't even, oh, there we go. It was like, you cannot drop this item here. It's like, it didn't want me to hurt Rod at all. But we're going to go and test that. We're going to go to the camping area and try to immediately convince Liz. Wait, can you shoot Liz with the, uh, with the electric gun? Does it electrocute her? We've never tested it. I think we should test it. All right. So I don't want to get you too pumped today. You know, you can only get pumped so much. But tomorrow is a very exciting day. Tomorrow is the ice cream song. I've been working on this for a little bit and I've been trying to do a whole little music video, um, but it is Mike's song. Mike is finally, you know, he's got his time in the limelight. Everybody else has had their, you know, time to shine. You know, Liz was the second game. Charlie was the first game. It is Mike's turn and it just feels so sad that he doesn't get a time to shine. I know there's like something with the ending. I don't even know the ending really. I haven't seen it, but I know that Mike plays a part in it. I just want to make a song because I know you guys like the songs and they're really fun to make. But yeah, tomorrow it's going to be in pretty intense and uh, I've worked on it a little bit. Hopefully they like it. What's up, Liz? I'm showing up. I got the electric gun in hand. Yeah. Nope. Actually, you can't even use it. You can't use the electric gun on her. She's immune. I'm like, no, I can't do this. I will never hurt her. So all we have to do is now convince her. Um, and then we'll bring her to the car and actually see if he'll push us to the front. All right, so I've just convinced Liz. It doesn't even say I've convinced Liz to, like, go to the car. I've just convinced Liz. I could say, like, Liz, roses are green. And she'll be like, oh, yep, I am convinced. All right, so we're just going to go to the car now. I think I'm supposed to stand up straight. I'm not supposed to crouch, and I have to go to the front of the car. Um, I think that's what you guys were telling me. Um, I'm glad that you guys are telling me a bunch of suggestions. I love when we all come together and find stuff as a community. It is awesome. She's moon. Walking, walking. Come on, dance Liz with me. Wait, Liz, dance with me. Come on. Nope, she's she's not into it. Come on, Liz. Come on. All right. Um, I think I'm just gonna stand right here. Wait, the door opens. Is that supposed to happen? What? I. Wait. Was I supposed to see that? And now I'm glitched in here. I'm stuck. I'm. But it worked! Alright, so we're just sitting in the car! Look at that, we got the dice! It is awesome, I'm just gonna start driving. I cannot see a thing. And you know what? I don't know how to drive this car. Uh, why do, why do I do it? I press some buttons. Am I... Am I locked in here? Yeah, I think... <laughs> I think I'm locked in here! I don't, I don't think I can escape! I've essentially been captured by Rod. We're all captured. Okay, well... 
Great. Just great. No, no, no. I, I can't accept defeat that fast. Come on. I gotta... No, there has to be a way to glitch out of here. No, come on. Come on. Please. Oh my gosh. Liz, get out of here. Open the door. Do you not hear me screaming? No. All she hears is like through the door. It's just... You know, she can't hear anything. All right. Well, I guess I have to restart the game. I guess myth busted. It actually works. Nice. So now was that supposed to happen? I don't think I've ever seen that where the door opens. You saw that, right? Why did the door open? Like, am I going crazy? Did I see that? I, I, did I do something that the game was not supposed to do? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe I'm getting excited over nothing, but like, these are so fun. We're doing some crazy things. All right. Um, but let's just say, let's continue the story. Let's come up with some crazy thing. Let's just say Rod recently has been doing things even worse. You know, he's been kidnapping kids, but no, it went further. You know, the homeless man, uh, Logan, let's just say that recently, um, what is it? Rod has been going and making fun of the homeless man, Logan. And I think that it's time that we get revenge. I mean, he can mess with me. He can mess with Mike. Sorry about that, Mike. And he can mess with all of my friends. But when he goes and makes fun of Logan... Dude, is he... Is he just walking in my house? What are you doing? Rod? Are you going to the bathroom? What? He just walked into the bathroom? Wait, you saw this, right? Hey, um, excuse me. Um, what are you doing? You're not allowed in here. What? You can't just... Did you flush? Did, uh, oh, yeah. Make sure you flush. Did you look? Did you flush? Did you... He's like looking like, I, 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 did, I think I did. Rod, what are you doing? Get out of my house. Jeez. Stay out. Don't... Oh, oh, now you're going to open it back up. Great. Okay. Well, I think Rod's just kind of walking around in my house now. Um, nobody's stopping him because he's just, he's literally the biggest criminal in the world. He, um, he invades people's houses. He, uh, what is it? <laughs> I guess he kidnaps kids and now, um, he's messing with our pal Logan. What we're going to do is we're going to get revenge and we're basically going to try to help Logan out while subsequently turning him into Logan. We're going to make him do this whole like thing where you step into a person's shoes. We're going to switch their lives and we're going to make it seem like Rod becomes homeless. So step one to this whole thing is we actually need to go and help out Logan. So I think what we need to do is get the, uh, what is it? The stuff for him. And his name is Logan because I think in this thing right here, it says the clown key is with Logan, a homeless person that you will find on the stands of the circus. So, you know, let's go help him out. Let's um, help him with, uh, I guess, getting him some clothes and uh, we'll continue this. <laughs> Rod, c c c come with me. Rod is taking so, so, slow, slow. Hurry up. Come on. What are you doing? So, um, I wanted to just do one time just to get him on the train tracks here. Come here. Come on. Why? Come over here. Come right here. Follow me. Follow me. I just need him on the train track so that I can try to knock him out once. But he's not. He's not walking over here. Just right over here. Come on. Almost there. Yeah, let's go. Almost. Yeah, you know what? This might be good enough. He is walking. There, there we go. Okay. Let's grab the green horse. Let's walk this way. There we go. Bye-bye, Rod. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Okay. That is just the most insane thing to see. All right. Well, now we've taken out Rod. Um, we're just going to basically go and do some good work. All right. So we have the shoes, but I think we need shoes and hat. Um, we're going to go and take the shoes, bring them up to the car, and then go get the hat. Bring it up to the car. Rod, are you doing okay? Man, are you all right? He's just over there, just sleeping on the train tracks. You know, you're going to get hit by a train if you keep doing that. I wouldn't do that. All right, so we got the hat in hand, ready to go. And uh, you know what? We have, I think, everything we need now. Um, we just needed to get the things for the homeless man, uh, Logan. And I think we have the electric gun to basically get a revenge on Rod. So I think we're good. Let's go to the circus and let's get out of here. All right, first, let's give him some shoes. We're gonna go make sure that he's feeling all right. And Rod, you stay away from him. You've already done too much to Logan. You stay back. No, stay, stop. I can't stop him. Okay, you know what? You, yeah, you go over there. That's what I wanted you to do. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, so here you go, man. Oh, there we go. Um, let's go get the hat for him now. And uh, 
Hopefully Rod is not taking- Rod, you didn't take it, right? Please tell me. Come on, Rod, please! All right, so, you know, Rod was trying to take the hat. You know what? I'm not gonna let you. I know you're, he's acting like he doesn't know what I'm talking about. Look at him. He's like- like, yeah, right? Look, yeah, ooh, yeah, oh, yeah, turn away now, man. I know what you're doing. You're evil, Rod. You are pure evil. Get out of here, okay? All right, so let's go put the, what is it, the hat on Logan. Make sure he's warm and nice, um, and let's go. All right, you know what? I don't even need the circus key. I just want to make sure that you're doing all right. Can we, like, wake him up and be like, hey, are you doing okay, man? Or is it only, like, take, oh, yeah, we just take, you know, you can, you can have the key. Here, I don't, I don't need the key. You, you have fun, man. No, the thing is, is, like, why isn't he just going into that, like, little trailer over there? He could easily do so. He has the key. All right, but we're going to be doing something that we did in the other video. It is very glitchy and doesn't work too well but since rod has been doing all this stuff what i want to do is basically get him to stand on one of these things right and then you knock him out so you or at least i think you have to get him right here and then you push him into here and he gets stuck and it is the craziest thing so if you haven't seen those videos you're going to be seeing it right here not only that once we get him stuck here we're going to keep messing with him we're going to bring him up to the top top over there and just see if we can push him down again we're just going to be doing a bunch of glitches with the electric gun because you know what it's our revenge it's revenge day where is rod by the way did rod get out of here he, he just heard me yelling in the background like we're gonna knock rod out we're gonna push him off a building and and then Rob was like, I'm getting out of here. This guy's a psycho. <laughs> like, no, no, Rod. I, I was joking. Get over here. You Don't you hear the loud sound of this gun hitting the ground? Oh, there. Jeez. What? Where did you come from? Okay. Sure. Um, How about you walk over here, man? <laughs> Whoa. All right. So he's coming in. Bah! Jeez. His arm went through his, like, body. All right. So we're going to try to, I guess, push him up there again. Hopefully this works because... Some of this stuff can be kind of glitchy. Oh, jeez. He's just ragdolling everywhere. I hope that I don't, like... Oh, jeez. Oh, my... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I broke his arm. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Go, 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 go. No. Okay. He's stuck completely. How do I get him out? Go. This way. Go. Um, this is not going well. Oh, wait. Okay. I saved his arm. Everything is great. No worries. Okay. We're gonna push him up. I think we got it. I think we got it. This is very glitchy. But I think that with two shocks, it'll, it'll work. All right. So there we go. I think that we've got it. Oh my gosh. Here we go. So once more, like we did in the other video, we got him stuck up here. And this is the ultimate glitch. Because if you get him up here, he's stuck forever. He literally cannot do anything. He cannot get out. Um, and you know what? He got a taste of his own medicine. Because he's stuck there... We literally win. We could do whatever we want. The car is ours. You know, his house, we're just gonna drive by his house. You know, we have the keys here. You know, they're ours now. He is stuck. He basically, everything that he's done to everybody else, we've essentially done to him right here. Hey, Rod, how's it going? Why don't you um walk on out? Oh, that's right. You can't do anything. Oh, listen to that. He's starting to sing. He, he thinks that he won. No, 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 no. No, Rod, be mad at me. Get mad. I won. I won. Try to, yeah, look, try to get out. Try to get out, man. You can't do anything. He's just frozen. All right, so I've just restarted the game because I wanted to go back into normal mode. I was tired of ghost mode. I need him to chase me because today um, I'm going to do the ultimate thing that we haven't done with the electric gun is knock him off the top. Um, let's see if we can actually get it done without getting caught because it does seem like he can catch us from a pretty far distance, but I feel like we just did the ultimate revenge of getting him stuck in the thing. I think occasionally he can get out. So if you do that glitch yourself, um, he can walk out unless you kind of like push him to the top top. All right. Well, he is chasing us. I'm right here, dude. Why are you looking away? I'm right here. Come over here. Um, and hopefully we can actually get him to climb up to the top and then we'll try again just to see if it works. Dude, Rod, I'm right here. I'm right here, man. Come here. I swear if he's like tricking me, if I go around the corner and he's standing there, come on, don't do this. All right, I'm right here. Uh, come on, come on. Okay, well, um, despite him being very, very slow at walking and catching us, he can see us, right? Is he? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's coming for us. Why is he so slow? All right, well, um, I wish we had all the other levels. Like we could open up uh, the grandma's house and actually go through the stuff. But everything is locked. So we're going to the last final level of this thing, which is getting him up here. I hope that he doesn't catch us. We're going to stand on the edge. We're going to hope that he comes up. And when he stands up here, we're going to immediately knock him out. So let's do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And... Bah! Wait, wait. What? What just happened? What? So, 
we just saw Terminator Rod. I shot him twice and nothing happened. Then he started crawling. Then he captured me and threw me down into the building. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Whoa. You know what? I think I'm going to leave the video here. Um, that's a great way to end the video. It's just him doing a glitch that has never been seen before. You know, I prank him. He pranks me back. You know, it just goes in this weird circle. You know, it's it's awesome. But um, yeah, hopefully I made you smile here. That's all I want to do. You know, every single day, if you're ever feeling bad, you can look up Dak Blake. We can play some video, video, video games. I did, forgot how to speak. We can play some video games together and I can cheer you up once more. So um, I'll see you in the next video. Um, it's probably coming up right now. And remember the song. That is tomorrow. I am excited, so I'll see you then. Probably coming up right now if this is the future already. Whoa. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, peace out, my dudes.